angry guy here, and Tyrone is furious that black men have turned against him. Guys, help me get to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Like the video and turn on notifications so that you will never miss another video from me ever again. And now let's begin. So Tyrone is furious that black men have turned against him. I talked about this in another video, but I want to illustrate this a bit more because a lot of these guys are now popping up on my channel and they're extremely furious. I'm going to go back to the original comment that I received or email I received from a black man who was very furious that I had been featuring content on the channel that criticized Tyrone, Ray Ray, and Pookie. So he said here, how dare you? That's the subject of the angry email I received. And like I said, I did review this in another email, in another video, but we're going to talk about it a bit again because I realized why he's so upset in addition to a couple of things. I, I've been noticing how disrespectful you have been getting lately. You are depicting black men and black people as a joke more and more. Now you have the audacity to allow the N-word in your videos. That is extremely disrespectful and is taking away from men. Despite so-called black people using the word, you should show some respect to yourself and edit or censor that word. Now, like I said, that is not my word. I do not use the word. However, the word was actually used by black men in another video that I featured. And we'll watch the video right now. Sir, I, now I got to post these. I got to post these. I got to show the internet. Uh, this is fire, man. <laughs> it's going to get a lot of likes. It's going to get a lot of likes. <laughs> Life scares. Versus dark skins, Trey. Black internet, not today, man. Let me. Who you picking, man? Black internet, please. Light skins. Nah, I'm just trying to post my shoes. Son of a. Bitch. Why, why are you yelling? Black woman versus why, black Why man are you Trey. yelling? Why are do you... black women complain too much, or do black men should... need to bro, do better? Get out, get out my face, bro. Answer the question, my... nigga. God damn. Bro, please. No, 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 no. Please. F that. F that shit, Trey. Bro, please. Make please. a side. Please. We need to tell each other. Apart. Please. Shut the hell up. Shut up, nigga. Shut up. You are sweaty and angry every day. Looking like a sweaty ass Twix bar. There is no picking a side. We're all black. What's the sides? Arguing about the most pointless stuff. When we don't even talk about this in person. Just calm down and laugh. That's all you gotta do. Damn, Trey. I, bro, I, I didn't even think about it like that, bro. Man, you know what? Give me your black card, bitch! Are you serious? Yeah, nigga! You got black I'm, no I'm more, logging Trey. out, bro. I'm logging out. Nigga, I'm I don't give a fuck. Go ahead and log out then. The fuck you thought you would? I'm okay? Nigga, fuck you. Why you still ain't asking me questions? My skin or dark skin? You see, guys, these guys can actually use proper English when they want to. They can speak properly when they want to. In many cases, it's an absolute choice when they carry on this way. Look at the email again. He actually wrote it pretty decently well, which means that he is a person who can write well, but he is likely a Tyrone who's been running rampant in the community and destroying the black community. And now he's upset about that because accountability is coming for him. But it's a bit deeper than that. It absolutely goes deeper than that. If you remember the video by Soraya, she referred to a Tyrone or Pookie, whatever. She referred to him as Mr. Pookie Man. Now, Soraya is married to a black American man, and she will defend him to a T. The thing is that she's been courting black men, white men, all men, but especially black men to ditch America, ditch Western society, and begin doing the passport road thing and start a new life with a foreign woman. And she's making it very, very easy for these men to do that. As I've said before, these guys are furious because they're the ones who've destroyed these communities. They destroyed the black communities along with the single mothers. They work hand in hand. They go together like biscuits and gravy. And now that 
the black men are leaving, responsible black men, educated black men are leaving these communities, all the light is being put upon these guys. So there's not going to be any more step up dads in the black community. There's not going to be any more, I'm going to pick up the mess for this guy. I'm going to raise someone else's kid. I'm going to subsidize the living of this. I'm going to go and take on this single mother and all of her kids because that's what God has inspired me to do. Black men are walking away from Western society. They're walking away from all that nonsense. And now that's going to put the limelight on Tyrone, on Ray Ray, on Pookie, Mr. Pookie Man. But here's the interesting thing about that. Why do you think this guy is so angry about the use of the N-word in that video? I didn't use it. And as you can see in the video from Trey Rags, they were basically talking about how, you know, these pookies, how they behave. You know, black, black women are white women. Are you saying that black women are not good enough? You need to do better. Guys, do you see that? They, they, get, immediate, they get instantly furious the moment that a black man goes outside of his ethnicity and starts looking elsewhere. Why? Because they need these men to continue providing value in the black community that they have destroyed. Because without the black men that work hard, that care about these communities, that are still trying to hold up and prop up these destroyed communities, there's nothing there. So now it's going to become an, uh, an outright forest fire. And there's not going to be anyone to hide behind. When the cops go to these communities, they're going straight for them. Because a lot of these, a lot of these, men, they're not paying their child support. They're, you know, these are the dudes who are creating problems and disparities in these communities. So they're going to become a focus now. They're going to become a focus. These, these men are going to get put on the spot for everything. Oh, you haven't been paying your child support because some other man has been has been subsidizing the living of that single mother that you impregnated and then left. Okay, well, we now we're he's gone, so now we're coming for you, and we're gonna get our money from you. And let me explain how this works. When you are back on child support, you can't even get a passport. If you have a passport, you can use it, but if you don't have a passport, you cannot apply for a passport or renew your passport until your child support payments have been met. Not only that, even after your child support payments have been met. You then have to go back to the court and petition to the court why they should give you access back to the passport because they may now see you as a flight risk. So these men, Pookie and Ray Ray, Tyrone, they're all the same. Just another name for just another name for, 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 for them. And don't forget, you know, Miguel, Enrique, and Pancho, because they've been terrorizing the black community since for decades and decades now, just like these other men. Do not forget the Hispanics. They, all right. Oh, I, I have no problem with Hispanics in general, just like I have no problem with black people in general. But don't forget these specific group of Hispanic men, Miguel, Pablo, uh, Enrique, Pancho, little Pancho. OK, Pancho, is a, Pancho, you know, he think he's simple and he likes to drink his tequila. But Pancho has been hit. Pancho has been, you know, blowing that back out since at least the 1960s. OK, so don't forget that black and brown biscuits and gravy. All right, these men have been running through these communities too. So do not forget these men. Don't forget them. So these men, they're now furious. They're absolutely furious because there's no cleanup crew for them anymore. But more so than that, when they hear people calling them Pookie and Tyrone, and you know, and these are the common names for these people in these communities, regardless. But when they hear this, what they really hear is the N-word. And when they hear other black guys using the N-word like that, it hurts them. Because here's the thing. Chris Rock made a video, or more so he did a performance that was recorded into a video, and it's available on the internet on YouTube. But this happened back in the 90s where he said he loves black people, but he doesn't like N-words. And he used a hard ER. That's how Chris Rock became famous. He became famous and went mainstream for criticizing the people, the Tyrones, Ray Rays, and Pookies, for destroying the black community. That is his entire career. That's, that's how he became a beloved and well-known comedian, by criticizing these people. And when he criticized them, he separated black men, and then he brought out the N words, and again, he didn't use the N. He, it wasn't, it wasn't with the A. It was with the hard E R. And the truth of the matter is that these men, when people say Tyrone, Ray, Ray, Pookie, 
What they're really talking about are those group of people. And they don't mean, in many cases, with the A, they're looking at the hard ER. And it's being used now by black men to describe these men. It's been used by foreign women to describe these men. It's being used by all different groups of people to describe these men, including white people. So what that basically sounds like to these guys every time they hear it is they hear the hard ER. And it's not coming from just one group of people. It's coming from people who look like them, but who absolutely despise them and are separating themselves from them. I said this, I called it, you guys are going to see it. I've told you already, you're going to see videos from foreign women making videos that are directed at Keisha, directed at, at Pookie, and they're going to be saying the most horrible things about these people. They're going to use these words that sound terrible, so, and it's just a matter of time until one of them drop the N-word with the hard ER, and there's going to be a black man sitting in the same room as they are saying these terrible things, really horrible things, and he's not even going to flinch. And when women see this video, when the Tyrones, when Keisha and Tyrone or Pookie, what are, the same person, see these videos, they're going to flip out and say, how dare you? And how is this man sitting there? You know, you're black too. And these men are not going to say anything. And it's going to become a series of videos. It's going to become deafening. And they're going to feel frightened. Keisha and Pookie are going to be frightened. And they're going to start putting out videos saying they don't feel safe and their people don't love them anymore. And black people need to stick together. You know, the same rhetoric that different groups put out. You know, it, it, ha it happens with Hispanic people, too. When I lived in Mexico, there was a saying about Mexicans that Mexicans had for themselves that, you know, if you if you wanted to keep, uh, you know, a lot of keep Mexicans down. For example, if you took a bunch of Mexicans and put and put them all in a hole together. They would never get off the hole because as soon as one Mexican tries to climb out of the hole, another Mexican would just pull him right back in, would just pull him right back down. And that's the same thing that you see happening in so many communities, especially the African-American community. So what we're seeing here is these men that are, that are leaving Western society, the passport kings, they're separating themselves from this community. They've walked away. They've quit. They are, they are in, increasingly done with the African-American community. A lot of these men, if you watch videos on YouTube, no longer want to be referred to as African-Americans. They want to rinse their hands off the entire thing. They don't even want to be called black Americans. Yes, they'll say they're black, but they just want to be called Americans. They want to have nothing to do with the black community as it exists anymore. They're going overseas, starting new lives, joining new communities. So guess what? They don't care about the community anymore. Of, and of course, there are going to be guys who say, oh, I still care about black women. I still care about the black community. There will always be those guys out there. But as a whole, these men don't care about that community. Tyrone destroyed that community. Keisha destroyed that community. Ke you know, with that, you know, Keisha with that masculine energy and Tyrone Pookie Ray Ray with that feminine energy. So what's that with that with that female energy, not feminine, female energy. Because that they inherited from their single mothers. So what's happening now with these men gone, with the passport kings gone, they can't survive anymore. And they're going to they're going to be punished. They're going to, you know, Pookie's going to have to pay that child support. And it's not so simple as, oh, they're just going to put him in jail. He'll go to jail. He'll come out of jail. And they already know that these guys love jail. So they won't just throw them in jail again just like that. Any money that he's supposed to get, including public assistance, cash assistance, they'll snatch it away from him. Anything he has in the bank, they'll snatch it away from him. His, his driver's license, they'll snatch it away from him. I don't know if you all even know this. At one point... They wanted to pass a law in one state that would take away the hunting license from some men who did not pay their child support. And then they decided to not do it evidently. But that's how bad it became because they basically wanted to take away the ability of men to feed themselves because there are men who are literally living in the woods because they can't afford child support and they feed themselves 
through hunting, and he wanted to take away their hunting license so that they could not even eat anymore. And someone said, okay, yeah, we need to take a step back on this. We, 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 we probably should not do this. Because a lot of dudes end up living in the woods after their lives are destroyed through marriage, you know, after, after marriage, divorce, and the family court system steps in and takes everything they have. All right. You know, you have, they have a job. They take everything out of your, out of your paycheck. You have nothing left of your paycheck. I forget if they even like show a negative, they take everything. And that's the reality that these men are facing. And not just that, there won't be anyone supporting these dudes when they're dudes, when they're out there committing all these crimes and running, wreaking a havoc and the cops catch them. And they get, and you have some uh, cop who's just stressed out, just having a bad day, and he just lets it out on them, and he just put, starts putting in the work, and he just goes to work on them, and he puts his back into it. And then you see him on the news, these spookies on the news, crying about the cops and all of this. There's nobody coming to rescue them. Keisha could cry all she wants for him. There's no large, there's no black community standing behind him anymore. You know, the thugs, listen to me. Thugs don't get out of bed until out of bed until like at least 12 p.m. A lot of them don't even get out of bed until until 8 p.m. They sleep all day. You know, you know, they smoke that they 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 hit that chronic, they hit that chronic, drink that Heineken, and you know, eat some, you know, eat that KFC, and then and that and they chill, you know, and then and then you know, they you know, they they uh blow out some backs in between, but they're not getting up, they're not coming to that meeting. Are you crazy? They're not going to get up for these dudes. So there's no community. There's no one fighting for them anymore. A lot of these men that have the password kings that have walked away, they don't even care. They're not even hearing about it. And if they do hear about it, the only thing they're going to go is good. Oh, yo, they, 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 the, the cops did that. Good. Good. Literally like that. Good. Anyway. Anyway, I do, I have things to do. I've got that's literally how these men are gonna roll. They don't care about these groups of people anymore. Guys, if you enjoy the content, help me get to one hundred thousand subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, and turn on notifications to never miss another video again. And also like the video. What do you guys think regarding everything we discussed here today? Tyrone is furious that black men have turned against him. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away and cheers.